You say you'll be down in five The smell of your perfume Is floating down the stairs You're fixing up your hair like you do I know that I'll be a mess The second that I see you You won't be surprised It happens every time It's nothing new It's always on a night like tonight I thank God you can read my mind Cause when you look at me with those eyes I'm speechless Staring at you, standing there in that dress What it's doing to me ain't a secret Cause watching you is all that I can do And I'm speechless You already know that you're my weakness After all this time I'm just as nervous Every time you walk into the room I'm speechless Brittany, I'm here today, you know Ready to start a new adventure with you in life. I know it's gonna be difficult, you know, sometimes, and sometimes we're gonna have good times and bad times, you know, but I know we're gonna work through it. It's gonna be a relationship full of love and laughter and sometimes crying because you spend all my money. But I've been looking forward to this for a long time, and I'm glad that it's finally here. It started when you said hello. Just did something to me And I've been in a daze Ever since the day that we met You take the breath out of my lungs Can't even fight it And all of the words out of my mouth Without even trying And I'm speechless Staring at you standing there in that dress What it's doing to me ain't a secret Cause watching you is all that I can do And I'm speechless You already know that you're my weakness After all this time I'm just as nervous Every time you walk into the room celebrate the joining of this man and woman in the unity of marriage. There are no obligations on earth more sweet or tender than those you're about to assume. There are no vows more solemn than those you're about to make. There's no human institution more sacred than that of the home that you're about to form. True marriage is the holiest of all earthly relationships. It should be entered into reverently, thoughtfully, and with full understanding of its sacred nature. Marriage to be complete must first be spiritual. From this inner state of conscious unity in faith, love, thought, purpose, plan, and action, there comes the outer state corresponding to it, making the outer, like the inner, peaceful and harmonious. The state of matrimony is true marriage, only when based on this deep, invisible union of two souls who seek to find completion in one another. Do you both understand this? Yes. Today, your separate lives with their individual memories, desires, and hopes merge into one. So will you bring to this new life, each for the sake of the other, the very best that you have in you, seeking to express your life together, each at the highest level of his own understanding? Yes. And now who brings this woman to this man? Her mother and I. Thank you. <laughs> now, two of you turn and face each other, and Daddy will sit down. Okay. Careful. And there. Now, first question. You've been spending your life together? Yes. So join hands. Relax. Now, you're a jerk. You wish you look at each other. <laughs> Tim, will you take this woman whose hand you hold, choosing her alone to be your wedded wife? I do. Will you live with her in a state of true matrimony? I will. Will you love her, comfort her, honor her at all times, and be faithful to her? Yes. Brittany, will you take this man whose hands you hold for you by the best? I do. Will you live with him, comfort him, honor him always, and be faithful to him? Yes. <laughs> so as you take these preliminary vows, I would ask you to remember, to love is to enter a whole new world, a world of togetherness, a 
and to sharing all that is dearest and deepest within your hearts. To God is to remember and keep alive forever all those unique qualities that drew you to one another in the beginning. Those first phrases. The thrill of discovery. That wonderful feeling of oneness when your eyes met. To love is to constantly search for new ways to enjoy happiness. To make the most of every moment that you share together and marvel at how your feelings for one another keep growing to new dimensions. And to love is to be an oasis for one another and a quiet place apart from others where you don't have to pretend. Where you can be yourselves and know in your hearts that you will be accepted by one another. To love is to greet each day with anticipation, always eager for another opportunity to share new adventures, to gather up new memories together. And to love is to follow the rainbow through the rain and the heat, to be able to laugh at yourself, to be willing to say, I was wrong, or I'm sorry, <laughs> to forgive, but more importantly, to forget, and always believe in trusting one another. To love is to watch with wonder all the miracles of creation, find beauty in all the simple things of life, and to find in ourselves a deeper appreciation and a new awareness of how wonderful it is to be alive, to be happy, to be together. And lastly, to love is to come together from our past, and then move forward hand in hand along the uncharted roads of our future, ready to risk, to dream, to dare, and always believe that all things are possible with faith and love. And now, <clears throat> Looking into each other's eyes, you repeat after me. I, Timothy, take you, Brittany, to be my wife. I, Timothy, take you, Brittany, to be my wife. To love and cherish. To love and cherish. From this day forward. From this day forward. And I pledge you my faith. And I pledge my faith. I, Brittany, take you, Timothy, to be my husband. I, Brittany, take you to be my husband. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. From this day forward. From this day forward. And I pledge you my faith. And I pledge you my faith. Now, I understand you brought rings and you have a ring security man here. I do. Can I hold that one for me, please? <clears throat> okay. I'm going to take a moment and bless the ring. I'm going to ask everybody each in your own way to silently join with me in blessing the ring and in blessing the marriage. So I bless this ring. That he who gives it and she who wears it may ever abide in your peace, living together in unity, in love, and happiness, and with good purpose, do your will. Amen. 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 Now, Tim, she takes the ring from me, hold her hand right up high, start the ring on her finger, and looking up at her, <laughs> with this ring, with this ring, I thee wed, I thee wed, let it ever be to us, let it ever be to us, a symbol of our love, a symbol of our love. And do we have another ring? Thank you, sir. Here, <laughs> Let's take a moment to bless this ring. Lord, bless this one, that she who gives it and he who wears it may ever abide in your peace, living together in unity, in love, and happiness, and with good purpose, do your will. Amen. Amen. Now, hold his hand. With this ring, with this ring, I thee wed. I thee wed. Let it ever be to us. Let it ever be to us. A symbol of our love. A symbol of our love. Now join hands again, and I'll share these closing thoughts. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that is that you love each other with an ever broadening spectrum of love. Let there be expressions of love in words and actions as well as a company of silence. Let there be interest in nurturing concern for each other's happiness and well-being. Let your love be broad enough to accept the family and friends of each other, but more importantly is that they accept your love. Be mindful of each other's needs with an honest effort to fulfill. Talk when the other needs to hear. Listen when the other needs to be heard. Touch when the other needs touching. Hold when the other needs to be held. And understand solitude when the other needs to be alone. Make living space for each other's humanness with both their strengths and frailties. Have tenderness in your strength, but find strength and tenderness itself. And lastly, it may be most important, Open yourselves to that divine love which has woven the tapestry of your union and honor God with faith, hope, and love, these three, knowing the greatest of these as well. So will you both accept this challenge? Yes. yes. Now a little lighter note, I have some personal advice for you. <clears throat> the way to have a long and happy marriage is if you should discover you're wrong, 
fun, but admit it. If, on the other hand, you find you're right, please, God, just forget it. Yes, <laughs> Okay, let's close with a moment of prayer. Heavenly Father, may this man and woman who have entered into the spiritual union always be conscious of your presence. May they be one with each other as they are even now with you. May they rejoice in perfect love and peace together and live always in accord with the true law of their divine being. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So, Inasmuch as you, Tim, and you, Brittany, have consented together in the union of matrimony, pledge your faith each to the other in the presence of God and of his company, now with the authority vested in me as a minister, I now pronounce you husband and wife. It's always on a night like tonight. I thank God you can read my mind. I'm speechless You're standing there in that dress Girl, it ain't a secret Cause watching you is all that I can do Oh, oh, oh. I'm speechless You already know that you're my weakness After all this time, I'm just as nervous Every time you walk into the room share